Hey folks, Randy Go, Try to Magnum Man with you here today. Today, folks, marks the sixth anniversary to the day that I put my first video on YouTube. Now, my videos weren't too good back then, and to tell you the truth, today they're not a lot better, but and I'm, what I'm talking about is uh, video editing skills and video editing skills effort, uh, which, uh, you know, uh, some people are very good at it, uh, I am not, and then, uh, you know, I just, I try to just get up a video to show you the fish I'm catching, the products I'm talking about, um, and I think I get the job done. But, uh, yeah, it's been a six, six years, that's, that's, that's mind-boggling. That very first video was uh, me catching white bass in Nickajack, and today, what I'm going to have here later on in the, I'm going to reshare a video that uh, I think I did in 2021 was probably one of the best days of shell cracker fishing I've ever had in my life. It was quality fish, it was on Nickajack Lake, uh, which in this spot I've caught, uh, I've lost count of the number of shell cracker I caught out of this bay that you're gonna see on this video. Now, some of you who've been with the channel a long time, you've probably seen this video. Some of the new people on the channel, you've not, and you know, you're not gonna search through hundreds of videos. Uh, to find this, uh, maybe you luck up on it or something, but it's an outstanding video that showcases the quality of the shell cracker that are in Nickajack Lake. It's just a fantastic place to fish, and over the years I caught I caught a ton of fish out of Nickajack Lake. Uh, there's no Nickajack Lake or anything like Nickajack Lake close to me here. Uh, Arkansas has just as good a fishing as Tennessee, unfortunately. I'm not in an area where the best fishing in Arkansas is available. Now I have the Little Red River, you know, uh, for trout right up the road. But I'm talking for warm water species, what I like to do is crappie and panfish. There are a few small lakes here, uh, Barnett, uh, Desarc, uh, but still, uh, it's, it's not, you know, it's not the best of what Arkansas has to offer, that's for sure. You get uh, different areas of Arkansas. I mean, they got some great bluegill lakes, great crappie lakes, uh, white bass, tail races. Uh, unfortunately, none of that's close to me. Uh, and as I age, I just don't want to make the drive anymore. I just don't want to do it. Uh, although, you know, when I go back to Tennessee, I'd make a, it'd take me an hour and 15, an hour and 20 minutes to get to Nickajack. But today, I just, I, I'm not saying I'm going to ever do that again, but today I just don't, I just don't want to do it. Uh, but anyway, uh, hadn't been able to fish. We've had storms, rain, storms, rain, uh, wind. Uh, uh, today is halfway decent, but uh, had a doctor's appointment today. And uh, tomorrow, uh, supposed to be a possible tornado outbreak here tomorrow. We'll see. Hope not. But that's what they're calling for. But then um, after tomorrow, it's going to uh, clear off, uh, supposedly for next six or seven days, and uh, hopefully get back out on the water. Uh, Cause uh, you know, my wife's in Kentucky visiting her brothers, and I stayed back this time cause I told her, I said, man, this is right in the middle of uh, shell cracker season. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get on the water since she's been gone. Uh, and that's that's crazy. That's just absolutely insane. Uh, need to mow my yard, it's mush. It's nothing but mush. So not, no yard mowing is going on here for a while. But uh, going to get out, uh, pick the wife up. She's coming back home on uh, Thursday, which is uh, three days from now. And hopefully Friday, I'll be taking the boat out somewhere to try to look for some fish. Uh, hope I haven't missed a shell, shell cracker spawn. I may have, uh, I don't know. It's been such an odd year for spawning fish. But uh, just wanted to share this video, kind of as a, you know, a little remembrance of Nickajack. Uh, and this is where it all started on this very day. Uh, and uh, I can't believe it's been that long, but it has. Uh, the channel, has, has, it's done what I set out to do. When I started this channel, there wasn't a whole lot of channels out there talking about JDM Ultralight gear, if any. There may have been some, but I couldn't run across them because believe you me, when I started down the JDM roads, I searched and searched and searched and searched for information here in the U.S. And I just couldn't find it. But now there's a whole lot of channels out there with uh, uh, JDM 
information, fish and tackle. I'm talking about ultralight. Now, there's always been JDM uh, uh, information on bass fishing gear. That goes without saying. They are still the biggest buyer of that, that equipment. Uh, ultralight angling is not anywhere near the size of bass gear. It's just not. Uh, but, uh, you know, now there's, like I said, there's a lot of channels you can go to for your old flight angling information about JDM gear. Of course, you got iFish, you got, uh, you got several others that have dabbled in it. Uh, but I think I was one of the first that uh, started putting out information there about the, the rods, the reels, the line, and now the lures. Uh, and, you know, I, I succeeded. It's, there's not a week goes by, hardly a week goes by, that someone doesn't contact me about they want to buy a rod. What should their first Japanese rod be? And so on and so forth. They're, they're real. And I try to steer people in the right direction. I don't try to uh, sell them something they don't want. And I make nothing off of any of this. I'm not affiliated with uh, any of the Japanese web stores. Uh, so they give me nothing for recommending their site or nothing. I, they don't even know I recommend their site, I guess. But I don't make a dime from that. Uh, and I don't get any product from them either. Uh, I, I just do it as a service. Just recently, um, had a man contact me about he had broken his, uh, uh, I think it was, he had a TCB Leland's uh, rod and they had broken it and he thought about dabbling into uh, getting a new fishing rod. And so I talked to him about, so why don't you buy a rod out of Japan? So I recommended a rod he'd get and a reel. He got it in, took it fishing the next day, and uh, he is more than pleased with it. He said he can obviously see himself buying more, which is what happens when you start down this road, uh, you do buy more. Uh, but uh, just wanted to share this old video. Some of you haven't seen it, some of you have, but it's some quality fish in there with some quality JDM tackle going on. And of course, the trout magnet, as always, 99% of the time is the lure. It's my lure of choice, the trout magnet. You're not gonna go wrong with it if you're an light angler. You're gonna catch multi-species. Uh, and when I say multi, you, will, you can catch everything on a trout magnet, but it is one of the top fish catching lures out there if you're an ultralight angler for smallmouth bass, Kentucky bass, bluegill, trout, crappie, shell cracker, uh, largemouth bass will hit it, but they don't particularly care for it. But smallmouth bass and Kentucky bass absolutely love the thing. Uh, so if you haven't tried you some trout magnets, you need to try them. I'll leave the link into the trout magnet website in the description of the video. But also here in the next week or two or three or something, we're going to do some video. I got some. Uh, Bariva shipment in. Uh, this is just one of the double cross braid. I've got uh, Twitch Master over here. Uh, I've got uh, some uh, Avani braid. I have, of course, my Lemony uh, ES2 lines. And also, folks, you know, I used this a lot several years back and I ran out and I didn't get any more, but I'm going to tell you this stuff is fantastic. Bariva sells this. This is a line conditioner. I don't know what y'all's thoughts are on line conditioner. I absolutely love the stuff. Uh, I just, you know, ran out and didn't, didn't use it. But I'm gonna tell you, when you use it, it, it really makes uh, it, it really makes for better line manageability. Uh, this is water based. It's not uh, uh, oil based like some of the stuff. We'll be doing a review on that and uh, putting links to where you can buy all this stuff. Uh, and uh, gonna continue to make videos as long as I can, folks. Uh, and. Uh, just as soon as we get out to fish, going to have up some more videos. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the uh, retro video I'm putting up. I uh, hope all of you are safe. hope all of you are healthy. hope all of you are out fishing. hope you're catching a bunch of fish. So until next time, so live them all, and life is good. There he is. There he is. There he is. Yes, sir. What you talking about here? Shoot fire. Yes, sir. Now, folks, <laughs> take these all day long. All day long. This joker. Come on, okay, I got it. I got it. Yes, sir, that's a chunky eight, eight and a half inch bluegill. Yes, sir, beautiful fish. There he is, there he is. There he is.
Good fish. Good fish. Yes, sir. Good fish. I think this is a shell cracker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, it's another dead gum bass. These things, they, they beginning to try my patience. They beginning to try my patience. It's fun, but that ain't what I'm looking for. Ooh, 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 mercy folks, mercy. This is a moton gator here. Shoot fire. Shoot fire. What what is this thing? Goodness gracious. My word, would you just look? Would you just look, folks? Would you just wow? Shoot fire. Man sakes alive man sakes alive wow I can't even get my hand around this thing wow 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 get my jig back here well that gum that's a Folks, won't you look at that fish? That is a beautiful fish. Let's get back around this way, get the sun. That is a gorgeous fish. We're gonna get a measurement on him. Let's see what he measures. That's a oops. I dropped that fish. Don't mean to do that. That's a ten and a half inch. That's just a gorgeous fish. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh the shell cracker here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shoot fire. Man, man, I done found some shell crackers. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Another, another quality, quality shell cracker. Shoot fire. Make sure that camera lens is. Look at there, folks. We'll get a measurement on him. Ten inch fish. 10 inch fish. Yes, sir, folks. All right. Yes, sir. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Another shell cracker. Wow. 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 Oh, this joker. Wow. Man. Tell you what, folks. I'm flat on them. I'm flat on them today. Wow. Make sure that camera lens is clean. It's look at there, folks. Look at there, what a fish. Man, that's a gorgeous fish. All right. There he is. There he is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Man, shoot fire. I'll tell you what, now. I'll tell you what. Land sakes alive. These are quality fish, folks. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, 
There he is. There. Ooh. Oh, man, would you listen to that? Wow. Shoot fire. This is a good one here, I believe. Yes, sir. They're all good. Shoot. What you talking about? They're all good. They're all good. Boy, they heavy fish. They're heavy fish. Wow, 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 wow. Would you look here at this thing? Would you just look? Shoot. Fire. Land sakes alive. Wow, 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 wow. What a fish. Get a measurement on him. See what he... What do you measure? Another 10 inch fish. He's over 10 inches. Yes, sir. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There he is. Another shell cracker. <laughs> what a day. What a day. What a day. What a day. Yes, sir. Shoot. Fire. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. These are all quality fish, folks. All of them. Yes, sir. Wow. Quality shell cracker. Yes, sir, folks. I'm flat on them today. Wow, 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 wow. Man. There he is. There he is. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Shoot. Fire. Shell cracker city. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The smallest one yet. But I'll tell you what, if they was all like this, I'd be happy. Shoot fire. Folks, I get excited catching these things now. I just do. I live for it. I fished the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea for 21 years. Caught giant fish, but nothing, nothing is like catching shellcracker and bluegill. Nothing. Shoot fire. All right. Well, yeah, I thought I had the camera on with this one, but I didn't. But anyway, there's another one, folks. Yes, sir. All right. Here we go again. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. This may be, I don't know. They're all good. It's just, they're all good. I know the <laughs> They're all good folks. Every one of them. Yes, sir. Get this one out of here. Yes, sir, folks. Another beautiful fish. Another gorgeous fish. All right. got here what we got here another shell cracker yes sir boat lift this one I shouldn't boat lifting That's what I'm talking about the smallest one yet but if they were all that size I'd be happy yes sir Wow. 
Yes, sir. Shoot fire. I think it's a bass. I think it's a bass. I don't think it's, if it's a shell cracker, it sure is a giant. I think it's a bass. I can't tell. I can't tell what you know. It's a bass. I believe it's a bass. It is a bass. He's trying to get on them beds down there. Eat something on them beds. It's a good bass, too. What you shoot fire? What you talking about? What you talking about? Come on, get up in here. Get up in here. Get up in here. What a bass. What a bass on 1.8 pound test. Polyester line. Folks, I'm telling you what's the truth. What a day. The day is young and I've already caught a hundred freaking fish. Dead gum. The line, the rod, the jig heads. It all works out good. Look at there, folks. Look at there. Look at that thing. Let's get a measurement on him. See what he is. Sixteen and a half. Sixteen and a half. Wow, 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 wow. All right. go here we go <laughs> folks the crappie have all of a sudden moved in here <laughs> which that's okay uh, haven't found any big ones but uh, found any big ones yet but I'm not, not looking for them today that's a fact but hey <laughs> it's full of fish in here here we go here we go folks here we go here we go what is this I don't know what this it gotta be a bass I don't know I don't know what he is oh wow another 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 trophy largemouth for me today on the Abu Garcia diplomatic stream. Shoot fire. What you talking about? Wow, 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 wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another another chunky largemouth. I'd rather not get into them, but hey. I say trophy folks now y'all keep in mind I know this ain't to a bass guy this ain't a, a trophy fish but to an ultralight angler fishing polyester line that's a trophy fish all right Here we go, here we go, here we go, folks, here we go. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good fish. Yes, sir, good fish. Outstanding fish. What you talking about now? Shoot fire. Shoot fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, folks. Been on them all day. I tell you what, now, this is some of the, this is, this is better than last year's crop. I tell you that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Would you just look? Would you just look at this thing? Would you just look at that? That is a fine specimen for a Tennessee shellcracker. Yes, sir. Let's get a measurement on him. See what he is. Put my trough up there to give it away. Ten and a half inch fish. Yes, sir. Ten and a half inch fish. Boy, that's a gorgeous fish. 
Yes, sir. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's a crappie. Not quite sure. I don't know what this is. No, he's cutting up pretty good. This may be a crappie. Yeah, it is. Pretty good crappie. Pretty good crappie. Yeah, shoot fire. What you talking about? Land sakes alive, folks. What a day. Get that out of that net. Yeah, crappie's a little bit better. Not bad. Not bad. Is this a bass? Oh yeah, another. <laughs> I can't get away from them today, folks. Can't get away from them. A nice, nice, nice battle, though. Yes, sir. Shoot fire! What an awesome day! What an awesome day for an ultralight angler. Let me tell you. Oh, come on. Come on, get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here. Ah, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, sir, folks. <laughs> That ain't what I'm after, but I'll take them. I've caught enough of them today. Shoot fire. What we got here? What we got here, folks? I think we got us another bass. Big bass. I mean a, a real big bass. What we got? We got more than what I can handle. I tell you that. It may be a catfish. I'm not sure what this is. Tell you the truth, it's a big fish. Whatever he is, another big bass. Wow, biggest one today. Wow, 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 wow. What a day I've had, folks. I mean, it's just been mind-boggling. I've had a lot of good days fishing, but this one here, this one here is something else. Come on, get out of there. This is, I mean, this is a... Huh. Man, wow, folks, wow, 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 wow. What a day, what a day. My gosh almighty. Would you look at this thing? Would you look at this thing? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Goodness gracious alive. Look at that thing. Look at that fish. Get a measurement on him. He's... He'll go 19. 19 inch largemouth. Yes, sir. Shoot. Fire. There you go. Another... another. Yeah, I don't know. Bluegill, I believe. Give me a battle, whatever he is. Oh yeah, shoot fire. Look here. Would you look here, folks? What a fantastic looking bluegill. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that, folks. 
That's a chunky monkey right there. Yes, sir. That's a gorgeous fish.